Hello everybody and welcome back to another Star Citizen video. I am Aerodox and joining me once again is Mall Terror. We were out in the verse doing our thing and it occurred to us. Some of you may not know the pros and cons of the three different types of armor. So we set out to create a guide to help you decide what armor is right for you and explain the deeper nuances of each type. There is plenty to talk about here, but before we go any further, we have to announce the first winner of our Have You Seen My Wiener Challenge. For those of you that don't know, we hide a hot dog in every video, and the first person to call out the location and provide a timestamp gets a shout out on our next video, including this video. And the first person to win is Erwin. Hey, here's to you, buddy. Congrats. You enjoy that win. The spotlight's on you. And for the rest of us, without any further ado, let's roll the intro and learn all about armor. Alright, starting us off real simple, we have three basic types of armor. We have the light class, the medium class, and the heavy class. Each class has different pros and cons, first and foremost is the damage component to all of them. Each armor has different resistances to the various types of damage which are physical, energy, distortion, thermal, biochemical, and stun. On top of that, the armor you have dictates how much ground you can cover and how much equipment you can bring with you on your mission. It also determines how long you'll last when exposed to temperatures in various places. For instance, if your temperature range on the armor you have is say, minus 35 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius, then the closer you are to those numbers will determine your estimated survival time. It is not indefinite protection. Your BPM raises significantly faster the heavier your armor is. Sprinting in light armor will allow you to cover more ground, where heavy armor will not. Based on our testing, we've determined that everyone sprints at the same speed, but does not have the same amount of time they are able to sprint depending on the armor. What you are seeing on screen now are three identical runs in all three different types of armor, but you'll notice that heavy armor has a higher BPM much quicker, and the light armor has the least. Light armor offers the least protection in both terms of damage and environmental conditions while offering you the most coverable ground. A full set of light armor offers a resistance of plus 20% to physical, energy, distortion, thermal, and biochemical damage, as well as a 30% resistance to stun for each part of the body. Light armor can hold two grenades, four clips or magazines of ammunition, three pens, two utility items like med guns or pyro multi-tools, and one size 1 weapon and one size 3 weapon on the back. Light armor is good for specific weather conditions due to its tight temperature constraints and where you want to be fast and lethal, but don't care about the actual damage protection. Medium armor offers a good middle ground in terms of damage, environmental conditions, and coverable ground. A full set of medium armor offers a resistance of plus 30% to physical, energy, distortion, thermal, and biochemical damage, as well as a 45% resistance to stun to each part of the body. Medium armor can hold three grenades, six clips of ammunition, four pens, two utility items, one size one weapon, and one size three weapon on the back. Medium armor is good for moderate temperature conditions and where you want to be protected, but have some decent maneuverability. Heavy armor offers the most in terms of damage protection and environmental conditions, but significantly reduces your coverable ground. A full set of heavy armor offers a resistance of plus 40% to physical, energy, distortion, thermal, and biochemical damage, and a 60% resistance to stun for each part of the body. Heavy armor can hold 4 grenades, 8 clips or magazines of ammunition, 4 pens, 2 utility items, one size 4 weapon, one size 3 weapon, and one size 1 weapon on the back. Heavy armor is going to offer you a greater protection against the elements and put up a decent fight against incoming fire at the cost of fast paced, long distance running. Depending on your playstyle, you may choose to mix and match armors. For instance, I have a funny habit of getting shot in the face all the time, so I often wear a heavy helmet to gain that 40% damage resistance on my head, no matter what armor I'm wearing, and other players have told me that they will often bring a heavy chest and helmet and cover the rest in light or medium armors. Definitely do some experimentation to see what works best for you. But yeah, those are the basics of each type of armor, and really this is enough to get you started down the right path of choosing what armor is best for you in in any given situation. But there are a ton of variations of armor. Some armors are unique, like the ones found during the Siege of Orison event, and their stats and whatnot can be different than what you would typically find for that.
that category of armor. On top of that, there are tons of different color variants out there to choose from so you can personalize your look. That is why this video will serve as this channel's introduction to a series we are going to call The Armory. Slowly over time, we are going to cover the details of every set of armor that can be found in the game right down to the numbers. These videos will also include where you can find every piece of each set and what places have what colors so that you guys will have a place to go should you ever need to know where you can find what in what color. Before we wrap up the video here, we want to give a special thank you to all of you guys out there. We recently hit over 100 subscribers, and seeing that number in the triple digits was so special to us, we just want you to know how much that means to us. And we hope that this is just the beginning of our journey together. So hey, here's to you guys. Thank you for all the support so far. We are glad you guys are a part of the community, and we hope this channel continues to grow as large as it can. We wouldn't be anything without you guys, so again, thank you, and thank you guys guys for watching till the end of the video be on the lookout for the hot dog in today's episode and please 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 if you haven't already don't forget to drop a like and smash the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we release our next videos and we want to know what armor set you guys would like us to cover first in our armory series so definitely leave us a comment down below and as always, we hope to see you all out in the verse very soon, and we would both like to remind you of the most important rule. Don't forget your med pens. Peace.